Take two of Tuesday's video. How are you guys doing today? I hope you guys are doing well. Happy Tuesday. I wish you guys all the best, honestly. Anyways, um, I'm sorry if you're hearing the noise in the background. The little one's moving the chair and making a mess. So soon after I'm done making this video, I'm going to have to check what mess he made. Anyways, um, something I wanted to tell you guys is I'm really looking forward to having headphones. It's going to make it a lot easier for me to sing with headphones. I don't know if um, other people feel that way. I know other people can just like have the music in the background and have their mic and they're good. They've been doing that for quite a while. Or they've done a lot of practice, which I've done. I've done practice. I've had professional um, singing lessons, but I stopped because I didn't really think it was me. That's a complete lie. If you hear Austin Mahone in the background, I am so sorry. Give me one second. Like, let me try to pause that. There we go. That didn't work. Oh. Well, no more Austin Mahone in the background. Sorry about that. Um, so all I wanted to say was, guys, it's been tough to really sing with this mic um, without headphones because I'm hearing the music from one side and then I'm trying to sing it. It's a little harder to hear the notes for me, so I need to have headphones. I know a lot of people can just hear the notes, sing it, and they're good. That's great for them, but not for me, unfortunately. Um, something I wanted to tell you guys was, I don't know if you're like me and you learn lessons by doing experience or taking the the risk and doing them anyways but that's how I learned guys honestly <clears throat> a lot of you think that what I'm doing now which is being a promoter for um like working Monet and being a promoter for the Museum of Illusion is it's hard it's not easy guys you have to deal with people telling you you're not gonna make it or oh that's a waste of my time a waste of my money there's so many things that you have to deal with when it comes to promoting, social networking, everything. It's so hard for someone to really say that they can do anything without dealing with the hate. You have to deal with the hate. Even YouTubers who I've seen so many times who are like sweethearts in and out of camera have dealed with hate. People don't like you for certain reasons. But something I learned from a Darman video, which I just think I learned it myself, but I watched this video and it made more a lot more sense what I was saying before. People who hate on you is because either they don't like their their own lives or they hate on you so they can feel better. And let's say you have a lot of money and they don't, it hurts them. So the hate that they're giving you is not really hate towards you. It's more like I'm upset with what I have and I wish I had what you had. So I'm envy of it. Some people hate because, you know, they're just they're not happy with who they are and they don't want to take the chance to change it. And unfortunately, we live in that society that that's like that. And unfortunately, we live in a society that we all give hate to each other. All of us. There is not one person behind this camera, behind this computer screen, that does not give hate to someone. I'm sorry. There is no possible way you have never said anything rude to anybody. And if you haven't, I give you 100% props and please teach me. Because it's a lot harder to say that you haven't when you have. And it's a lot harder to lie. Because I don't know about you guys, but I can't lie for the life of me. Even if I try, my parents, my, my entire family can catch me in my own lie. I could be joking around and they can catch me. So it upsets me at the fact of that. I'm sorry about this. It upsets me at the fact of that, that they can't really figure out what I'm trying to say but what I'm trying to say is guys no matter what anybody tells you or if they hate on you or if they tell you things just live your life to your full potential don't worry about them because at the end of the day when they need people to bring them back up or to help them out they're gonna look for you because they're gonna know that you gave them the love and compassion that they wish they had themselves so just saying this in point blank love who you are don't try to change for someone else's perspective and another thing no matter what anybody says whether they hate on you and I'm pretty sure if I post let's say I post a video right now 
of me singing, do you know how much hate I'm going to get? I'm going to get so much hate. And you want to know why? Because I already had it in high school. In my high school, my chorus class was the downgrade of the school. Why? Because we never won awards. We never did this. We never did that. We, we were never the principal's favorite. The principal's favorite, and if anybody wants to quote me on this Coral Park Little alumni and say that this is complete crap, it's not, and you know it for a fact, was the band and Gerald CC. Why was it the band and Gerald CC? Because they won awards. They gave her school a name. My class didn't. So unfortunately, we got the booted. We got the hate. We didn't get the respect that we deserved. But you know what? I don't care for that. Because I learned something in high school. Half of the people in high school, I don't know anything about their lives. I don't know who they are now. And I really don't care. They weren't my friends. They weren't people who cared about me. They were people who made fun of me. They were people who laughed at me. Who said I would not amount to anything. Yet, I'm not saying this because I'm blabbering or anything. But I've been in music videos. I've met famous artists. And I've sang with famous artists I have done something that I have dreamed in 30 years I never thought what I would do and that was in my teenage years not my teenage years like maybe my 20s maybe 17 18 around there it was worth it I met CNCO before they were CNCO I met Maluma I met Daddy Yankee I've met Shakira I've met so many people So for me, whatever that hate was, it just made me a stronger person. And it made me love everyone because I don't know what anyone's going through. And I know that there was a girl that I hated in elementary and now me and her are friends. We hate, we, we disliked each other a lot, guys. But now we're friends and I feel like a lot of us should learn something. You never know what that person is going through and you shouldn't judge them because of what you see. Judge that person for their personality, but get to know them first. Just because they show you one side of them doesn't mean that they don't have another side. Maybe in school they try to fit in and being a badass is how they do it. Which is not true. Because in high school, in middle school, and in elementary, you try to fit in. You try to find a group. But in college, it's a shark tank and you're by yourself. And you need to learn how to defend yourself. In college, you meet people who have their life together. And know what they want. And go after what they want. And they don't focus on the hate, nor this, nor that. They don't believe in high school drama. So, here's something I'm going to say. And I'm going to end it here. Be who you are. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. And continuously, continuously... Love yourself. Okay, guys? Sorry if you had to deal with my nephew and, like, throwing chairs. I I don't even know what he did. But I'll go see. Love you guys. Have a great day. May God bless you. Keep you guys safe, okay? And just remember, I'm loving this mic. I'm sorry. Besitos. Los amos. Bye.